Hi, I'm Oscar Bedison and I am in Jersey City, New Jersey. Well, I really think that, you know, I just try and take little bits at a time and not get too worried about... I try and work on ideas and work on small things and, and gradually build up the piece over time. So, I mean, the way that I keep motivated is that I try never to bite off more than I can chew, you know, and, and worry about the big piece before it's really ready. So just do a little bit every day and just sort of like, you know, sort of keep on plugging away. Cinderella Instruments was something that I came up with a, a years ago actually now and I don't really do very much anymore but the idea was taking little found instruments and little you know things like that. I mean one thing I still use actually is the wrencher phone which is a, just a set of wrenches um, that you know they're sort of not in tune because they're not tuned um, and you know using those instead of a glockenspiel gives a slightly different sound I've used sort of small little things like you know, in one piece I use juice harps and another piece I've used things like kazoos and melodicas and all these kind of things. And I mean, for me, you know, it was just a way of kind of broadening the, 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 the sort of palette, the sound palette, and um, maybe bringing things to the fore that shouldn't, shouldn't, or wouldn't necessarily be brought to the fore. Um, I don't do it so much now. I mean, a little bit, but um, it's sort of, I guess that's something that's changed in my music because I sort of don't do that as much anymore. My current project, my big project right now, is a, an opera installation called The Light of Lesser Days um, for two singers and um, an ensemble um, for Asko Schoenberg um, in the Netherlands. Um, and I've written the, the text and the music for that, and that will be premiered, um, I hope. It was postponed last year because of COVID, and I hope we're going to be okay uh, for this year, but um, hopefully in, um, in September in the Netherlands. Teaching is, an, is a really important part of my, of my musical life. I think that they're both uh, composition and teaching are sort of part of the same thing. Um, I often find it, you know, it's, it's, it's very easy to, to see the problem with somebody else's piece because you're not so close to it, you have like you, you have a lot of distance from it, obviously because it's not yours. Um, but quite often, I've found myself in lessons telling something to a student that I think, oh well, actually, I should take my own advice in the piece that I'm writing, and that's that actually sounds like the right <laughs> thing to do. So it kind of feeds back in that way. Um, and the other way I would say that's really important is that you know my I learn from my students. I wouldn't feel satisfied with my teaching if I wasn't learning from my students. They introduced me to music and to ideas and, and things that I, I would never have heard or never have thought of. So that's important as well. So um, it's, sort of, it's sort of part of a, you know, it's part of the, the same thing really, composition and teaching. A positive thing for me that's come out of the pandemic, which is the desire to make music with friends. And actually friends that I didn't know, I would never have thought of how we could have collaborated before, but now the, the, you know, the idea is that let's just, let's do something, let's work together. This kind of, I don't know, this burning desire to make music with friends um, is something that really inspires me.